Ooh, wait a minute. Hurry, hurry, step right up, everyone. Welcome to Circus Charlie. I almost, uh, I almost got a little comfortable. I almost started with the usual what's up, everyone. But, I mean, yeah, you know, we're playing Circus Charlie, so you gotta start with the, the hurry, hurry, step right up. Right, that's the, that's the thing circus guys always say. But, uh, yeah, we're playing Circus Charlie on NES. I think, uh, you, you've already seen, like, five seconds of the game, so you already know what this is pretty much all about. He plays this, uh, delightful little clown boy named Charlie. And, uh, as most clowns do, you work in a circus. And you basically just have to do a whole bunch of stunts. There are five stunts total, I believe, in this one. I think in the original arcade version there were six. But there's no trampoline level here. And then once you do all five stunts, you just go back to the beginning, do it all again. It's an action arcade game. What more could you ask for? Well, like, like seriously, I challenge you to think of one thing you could possibly add to this game. You got everything you need. Get a nice 500 point bonus for jumping over two monkeys instead of one. Okay, Mr. Monkey. Watch out. Mr. Monkey from uh, South Park. Well, his name is Mr. Mackie, but like... You know, Mackie, Monkey. Is that anything? Probably not, but I mean, you know who really cares. Stage 3. This one doesn't involve any animals, so... I'm sure most people wouldn't be too opposed to this one. And we miss? How could I miss? It was three feet in front of me. Alright. This one takes some getting used to. Nothing I can't deal with. Because, I mean, let's face it, I'm the circus pro. You know what I realize? There haven't been too many circus-themed video games recently. Like, like, how many circus-themed video games are there? There's, like, this one. And then, like, the arcade port of Circus Charlie. And then I think that's pretty much it. They gotta make some more. Alright. We're only ten meters away. We're only ten meters away, boys. Also, this is a pretty big circus, now that I think about it. We're like in a coliseum. Hey, we get our life back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stage four. Alright, stage four, you're on a horse, as you can see. I mean, it could be a pony. Um, I think it's safer if you just, uh, go back and then forward. But you don't get too many points for that, so you gotta... Do some high risk, high reward. All right, we're gonna high risk, high reward this boy. Perfect, 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 perfect. If you were any more perfect, you would be uh, a circle. I don't know, a perfect circle. All right, I kind of messed that one up. I could have gotten eight hundred. Or not 800, I would have gotten 300, I would have gotten, uh, 1500 points? I think my math is right. I'm kind of on the spot here, so that's the only reason why I'm struggling a little. I'm not, like, Mr. I-can't-do-arithmetic guy. Alright, we're gonna hold back for this one, because you do have to jump on the end. Alright. Say goodbye to the American Patrol, because now we're listening to the Blue Danube Waltz. Personally, I like uh, the American Patrol better, because I'm an American, <laughs> and I like our music. Pretty basic stuff right there, I know. We're already almost done with the trapeze. Perfect. Call me the Trapeze King. 
Uh, this is this is gonna be a double upload with uh, Mario 64. So I asked in that video, call me the King of Time or whatever. But I mean, now I got two kingly nicknames that I gave myself. But I mean, who cares who made it up? It's totally tubular, as uh, the Fire Blaster would say, from uh, Pixels. I don't know how successful. That movie wasn't very successful, was it? I don't know. I could, I could see why people didn't like it. I personally had a had a fun time watching it. Just like your standard Adam Sandler kind of thing. I don't think it's as good as uh, Longest Yard, though. Alright, boys. Okay. We're doing it. You're doing it. Call me, uh... Call me Nike, because we're just doing it. Come through the ring of fire. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But yeah, as you can see, we beat stage 5, so now... We're back at square 1. Except square 1's a little harder, so maybe like... Before we were on Talc, and now we're on like... I don't know. Uh... What's a, what's another rock? I don't want to go straight to diamond. Maybe we're like on a an emerald. Emeralds are a little harder. Maybe on the next rotation we'll be at diamond. I don't know. It's been a while since like eighth grade science class where you had to do Moe's hardness. Okay, nice little double monkey right there. Double monkey action. Okay. It's ball time. Time to roll on some beach balls. I don't know how Charlie is doing this. This is... This takes some intense skill, man. Gotta respect our video game protagonists. Even when they're five-year-old clown boys. Is Circus Charlie 5? I don't know. He doesn't look like an adult. I don't even think he looked like an adult in the uh, original. Even though he was like kissing a girl and everything at the end. Spoilers for a game that came out in 1984, by the way. Alright. Taking it slow. Ready or not, here I come. I'm gonna find you. Take it slow. Except this time I'm not in a Peloton commercial. Okay, I could get a nice double here. Perfect. Call me a shovel, because I am ready to go. <laughs> call me a spade, because I'm a spade. Right, because like you, you call a spade a spade. Alright, but we're back on the horse. Back on the saddle. Alright. That is way too far away. We have to slow and speed up. Perfect. Ooh. That was nice. Nipped it right at the end. Alright. We are absolutely jumping on these trampolines like it's nobody's business. It's like I'm a natural at this circus thing. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright, we are living large. Hoo. Alright, the trampolines are getting smaller. Trampolines are getting smaller. My, I will have to report that to the base. Alright, slow me down, and let me jump on this podium. And we're back on the trapeze. The trapeze artist. Alright, it's always fun to, like, chain everything together. I will say, back in the day, when I first played this game, I... 
Well, all right. I got a little too overzealous there. I mean, like, you can't complain too much. Everyone gets overzealous eventually. But yeah, I was saying back in the day, I didn't know that you could uh, adjust your speed. <coughs> oh, I felt like something got in my throat there. But yeah, I didn't know that you could adjust your speed, and when you start the trapeze game, you're like just out of sync to the point where it like doesn't work. So we used to just always die a whole bunch on level 5. But I mean, you know, not anymore. Now I'm a... I'm a guy who knows how to play Circus Charlie. Not even particularly well. Um, I do know that there is a trick that you can do where you just keep jumping over this little lamp. But I'm not gonna do that. Maybe that'll be in episode 2. Give me a nice 500. Give me another nice 500. You're too kind. You are too kind. No, I mean, you're also sending rings of fire at me. Call me Sharkbait, because I'm making it through the ring of fire. Ooh, this one's a little treacherous. Actually, no, it's not. It's just like the same as jumping through a regular tiny hoop. But, I mean, it looks cool. And, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm sorry for ruining the magic. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Why would I be apologetic about that? I think we're just gonna lay low there. Alright, boys. Alright, boys. Alright, boys. And we crack a hundred K. Get an extra life. This could not be going better. Ooh. We get a thousand points from that. We're gonna jump over the monkeys like this. I should have waited. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to... To get away from the monkey as fast as possible. Though I don't see why I would want to. These are some pretty cute little boys. I don't know what's going on with their uh, rear ends, though. What's that little, like, white spot? Maybe it's like a bandage? I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Did the monkeys have that in the arcade version? I can't remember. Okay, you are too kind these double white monkeys. This little albino gorilla. Wait, what was it from uh, Aladdin? You know, 95 white... You had 95 white something monkeys. What was the other adjective? I can't remember. This isn't like a joke, by the way. Like, just in case it was like something that would have been funny. I did say it, but I gotta keep up with the video game appeal to all ages. No, that is not what's happening. I don't think Aladdin says anything too offensive. It is a Disney movie after all. It's not like Aladdin is selling brushes. Or it's a Disney movie and it's not like Aladdin is selling brushes or anything. We're only 10 meters away, boys. Perfect, 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 perfect. Jump on there. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? I want to say something Circus Charlie related. Oh, I got something. Uh, I first found out about this game from a bootleg 201... Alright. Probably should have sped up there. I think. But yeah, I first found out about this game from a uh, bootleg 201 console. Except I didn't know what uh, Circus Charlie was, because... I mean, let's face it, it was a bootleg version. Speed me up, maybe? Hmm, how am I going to make it past that? I can't remember. But yeah, it was a bootleg version, so you played as a little baby, and you were in the deep sea... 
Or not the deep sea, you were just in the ocean. So, like, you were jumping over crocodile? Oh, wait, I could just go under. Alright, then. Figured out how to dodge that. So, yeah, like, you were dodging crocodiles instead of those lamps. Um, I believe the monkeys... I did the same mistake again. Are you kidding me? I'm going insane. I'm trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Going insane. When I should be going insanely good at this game. I'm shaking in my boots, man. No, it's just because of the position I'm in. That's why I'm shaking. I don't even think you guys could notice. But we are out of lives, which... It's definitely a shame. I don't really think this uh, trapeze stage gets particularly like harder. I think it's just like once you once you get one and then you can chain it across. The problem, of course, is chaining it because I cannot seem to get anything going. All right, what if I just stop right here, and then I go forward? Is that anything? Maybe I need to use the trampoline on the bottom. And we miss in glorious fashion. Alright, that's game over. I don't think we're going to be doing two rounds of this. Uh, so this was Circus Charlie, everyone. I'll definitely have to play it again. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.